Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore how the ESRO has addressed the issues from the May 2025 setback and why the PSLV's January 12th launch is being closely watched. That scrutiny now turns to India's most reliable launch vehicle as it prepares for a carefully watched return. Indian Space Agency ISRO Workhorse PSLV rocket is back on the launch pad for a mission on January 12th, dubbed PSLV C-62. This launch marks PSLV's return to flight after a rare failure in May 2025. Back then, the PSLV's third stage malfunction led to the loss of the rocket and the EOS-09 radar imaging satellite mid-flight. The May 2025 flight marked the third major failure of the PSLV in its 63 flights across 32 years. In what is its first mission of 2026, the organization has announced that the PSLV C-62 vehicle is expected to lift off from the first launch pad at Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Harikota, at 10.17 a.m. While the PSLV will be carrying multiple satellites to Earth orbit, its primary satellite will be the EOS-N1, or ANVESHA, a hyperspectral Earth imaging satellite built by DRDO. In addition to the primary satellite, there will be multiple small satellites and experiments that are from India and abroad. On Sunday, 18th May, barely eight minutes after liftoff, ISRO halted its live broadcast of the PSLV C61 EOS-09 mission. Up to the second stage, performance was normal. The third stage ignited, but we made an observation regarding its functioning. The mission could not be accomplished. We are studying the data, said ISRO chief Dr. V. Narayanan, following the mishap. Addressing journalists at the spaceport, the ISRO chief elaborated on the observations. The third stage of the PSLV uses a solid fuel motor system. There was a fall in the chamber pressure in the motor case. We are studying the entire performance, the ISRO chief had said in May. As a taxpayer-funded civilian space agency founded with the ideals of serving the people of India, ISRO has made public the Failure Analysis Committee reports. These FAC reports are typically readied by in-house experts within a few months of the failure. However, the FAC report related to the May 2025 PSLV C61 has not been publicly released so far. Likewise, the FAC report pertaining to the failure of the NVS-02 satellite in January 2025 remains unreleased to the public. This is widely seen as a departure from the ISRO culture. However, both these FAC reports are learnt to have been tabled before the Government of India. Given ISRO role in launching foreign satellites belonging to governments and private firms, FAC reports being made public are crucial for maintaining transparency and re-establishing confidence. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay 